All right, guys and girls, we're here with Stefan Rapazzo, under hey, 23's Dad. Blue Bottles coach for Australia. Assistant coach. Assistant coach, sorry, my bad. Assistant coach for Australia underneath John Damiani, old man of Perth Ultimate. Um, Steph, tell us about how old you are, how long you've been playing Ultimate and where. Uh, 34 years old, this is my, I started in 97, so I think that's my 17th year of playing Ultimate. Uh, I started in Burlington, Ontario, just outside of Toronto. Uh, went to Toronto, played there for about three years. Went to Korea, started up uh, the Korea Ultimate National Team, which is an interesting acronym, uh, which was a f the first traveling team in Korea. Played about two years over there, then I went back to Toronto, played uh, a bit more higher club level uh, on some of the goat feeder teams on my way up. Uh, and, then, uh, and then I came to Australia now six and a half years ago. Uh, been playing in the Gold Coast uh, and Brisbane, but uh, trying to doing a lot of development in the Gold Coast, and uh, yeah, brings us to here where I've uh, I've been lucky enough to be selected to be the assistant coach under John Damiani, as you said, for the Australian mixed under 23 blue balls. All right. So speaking of that development on the Gold Coast, you took Slamtown to regionals and nationals this year and had their most successful season so far, taking the regionals crown on Firestorm for the first time, having a great season down in Bendigo. How has that influenced or affected what you're going to be doing with the guys in the Blue Bottles? Uh, well, I mean, a bit of a different game because it's open versus mixed, of course, but that said, I'm coming off an injury, so it was uh, uh, quid pro quo, I suppose, to some extent, where I was able to take a, a, a more of a coaching role. I've off, as, as the leader of a development squad in the Gold Coast, I've often been the coach captain, Reggie Dunlop style, as uh, any Canadians would know from the movie Slapshot. But uh, this gave me an opportunity to be a sideline only uh, type of voice, uh, going over, you know, getting a couple of players on board that weren't, haven't been with Slamtown in the past, like Dan Rule and Abra, get a bit more strategic minds. Uh, so I've been able to been helped out from, from their knowledge, uh, be able to be more of a conveyance uh, type of voice. Uh, so I think that uh, it works out well for me, having John Damiani being the more uh, tactical, strategical head of the team and me be able to be a more uh, motivational, voice-driven uh, voice uh, leader for the team. Uh, I think the, the Slamtown campaign and the structure we, we have uh, bodes well for what we're doing. Yep. So we've got the most Queensland representation in the Australian national team that we've ever had with seven of Queenslanders in the Blue Bottles. How do you see the connections or that the group size of seven people working together in the team? Uh, well, I mean, you hope that uh, there's a bit of chemistry or cohesion there. Uh, I mean, obviously, you've got the, the Beast uh, is the new guy. He's uh, got the freakish uh, physical abilities, and, and we hope that can certainly help out. But the cohesion that we're really hoping to uh, benefit from is, is what the UQ program uh, has together between Gary, Goose, Tim McLeese, uh, the, the fellas specifically, but uh, Viv and Claire have been playing together. I know Jane plays for another club with Griffith. But, uh, you know, if we can get anything out of the fact that they know each other's game, that's a bonus. Uh, we, have a, we had such a late camp starting late. Uh, this is really, camp coming up this weekend is really our first time to actually play as a team. As much as they've figured each other out and competing against each other, looking for spots, uh, there's still a lot of unknown. We're still going to see how they actually play as a unit, and and this week will be our first test. We got a couple uh, punching bag game on Sunday night, and then uh, a tough game against the Frisky team from Sydney. So uh, that'll tell. But yeah, we we certainly hope that the amount of time they play together. I know they play open together. They play mixed together in their leagues. So we're hoping that uh, that will bode well for us on on both sides of the disc. All right. And the final question: What is the best thing about Ultimate in your life? Oh jeez, uh, I mean, th this answer would probably change from year to year. Uh, you know, d the the ability to get some exercise, uh, the social, the social group and the party in years past has certainly been it. Uh, you know, right now, like uh, it, it's my mates now. I like for me, it's getting out and just being with the people I enjoy being with the most. Uh, you know, when I'm playing frisbee, there's no place I'd rather be. Uh, I get my exercise. There's all these bonuses. You get that. Uh, you know that that sense of teamship and mateship, and and it's just uh, like I said, there's no no place I'd rather be when I'm uh, when I'm playing some good hard ultimate. All right, Stefan Pato, thank you for your time. Good luck heading back home as an Aussie. We'll see you in Toronto.